audio in a video count for 50% of its quality. Believe me, your viewers can afford to view you in a dark room, in a dark environment. But it's very difficult to cope up with a video which has a poor audio. This is why it's very important to focus on audio quality in your videos or in your podcast. Whenever a new person asks me that sir I want to participate or I want to make educational videos or educational audios, what should I buy? Which camera I should buy? I always say don't invest your money in cameras in the beginning. Invest your money in audio. You already have a camera with you in these kind of smartphones, but you don't have a good mic, good quality mic. This is why it's very important to spend amount on quality mic rather than a quality camera. In this video, I'll show you a mic that I use to record my audio. The mic works in mobile devices, tablets, as well as on laptops. It works on the PCs also with a connector. So, I believe after watching this video, you will know if this mic is suitable for you or not and you will be able to improve quality of audio in your educational videos or educational podcasts. So, why wait? Let's start. When teachers ask me for a recommendation of a mic, I always suggest to use a lapel mic or collar mic because you can put it here to record your audio and you can use it indoor as well as outdoor, either for video shooting or for audio recording. When I searched on internet to find a good quality mic, I've come up with a very good quality mic which is known as Rode Smart Lab Plus and I have it here. This small mic is very powerful, very useful and it helps me in recording my videos in high quality. So I'll show you, this is the wire and this is the connector of this mic and this is the mic that you can put on your collar. As you can see, this mic is just mic. There is no recorder attached to it. This means you have to use it with a recorder. But where is the recorder? Where will the audio record? For that, you can use your smartphone, your laptop or your tablet. So I will show you how to use it in my smartphone. So I will connect it with this 3.5 mm jack. Once it is connected, then I will put this mic here like this and now I am ready to record. So my phone has a default recording application. I believe all smartphones have an audio recorder embedded. So you can simply open it and after connecting this mic to your smartphone start recording your audio. As you can see when I am speaking my audio is being recorded and that you can see it with this waves. These waves are showing if my audio is recording or not. This is very basic app and it is available in most of the smartphones. You can use this default recording application to record your audio. Then once you are done, you can simply press on this icon and then give it a name. Let's save it. When you are done recording, you can simply play it by pressing this play button. I'll play it now. As you can see, when I am speaking, my audio is being recorded and that you can see it with these waves. These waves are showing if my audio is recording or not. This is very basic app which is available on most of the smartphone. This is very basic. So this is how it has recorded the audio. Let's now see if this is not connected, then how does my mobile record my audio? So I'll click on this record button. And now when I am speaking, you can see this audio recorder is still recording my audio. You can see it with the help of these waves. And when I want to stop, I will simply press on this button and I will give it a name. And I will save it. And then I will listen it too. 
and now when I am speaking you can see this audio recorder is still recording my audio you can see it with the help of these waves and when I want to stop I will let's listen to both of the audios now to compare the quality as you can see when I am speaking my audio is being recorded and that you can see it and now when I am speaking you can see this audio recorder is still recording my audio if you have noticed the quality of audio the quality of audio recorded with this mic is much better than the quality of audio recorded with default mic of my smartphone in many mobiles i have seen that they do not support this kind of external mic like smart lab plus so for that i recommend an application so let's go to play store and install an audio recorder so when Previously, I was using this Sony audio recorder, but somehow they removed it and now this is not available. So, I will search for an audio recorder. You can see there are lots of audio recorders. I will tell you how to select correct one. So, when I am going inside an audio recorder, you can see that it contains ad. Whenever an audio recorder contains ad, I don't want to buy it. I need an audio recorder that do not have any advertisement. See, you can see contain ads as well as in-app purchase. We have a simple application. We just want to record our audio. We don't want any other thing from an audio recorder. This is why there is no point in paying for an application. So I will search audio recorder free. And then I will get few audio recorders. So here I see this audio recorder. This does not have any advertisement. Let's go here. And as you can see, there is no problem with selecting this application and this does not have any advertisement and it does not have any in-app purchase setting also. Then let's see the reviews. It has 4.2 star with 1000 reviews. This means I can believe on this application. I will simply click on install to install this application. Once this application is installed, then I will open it and show you the features of this application. It has this simple interface. We can see the settings. So there are some settings. I'll talk about important settings only. So one important setting is the format in which you are recording your audio. MP3 is lossy compression. This means whenever your audio is recorded in MP3 format, it loses quality. Default recording applications in a smartphone record in mp3 doesn't allow you to change the format this is why i always recommend to use an external application like this from here i'll select a web format web format is very good then i will select a sample rate try to select a sample higher but whenever you go for higher sample rate this means your size of the audio will also increase so i will keep it somewhere at 16,000 is also okay, but I have no problem with uh, internet or size storage. So I'll select 44,100 sample rate. Then this is a very important feature, record in stereo. Yes, I want to record in stereo. Stereo records for both left and right channels. So I'll select stereo. If you are not recording stereo, then it will be mono and it will not look as good as it should. But this mic support stereo recording so it's better to select stereo mode these are the important settings nothing else then it's up to you what name you want to give you can explore other settings they are not as important the important settings are selecting correct audio format selecting correct sample rate and finally record in stereo once you are satisfied then you can go back and here in this simple interface there is this recording button and there is this menu let's see this menu also so i believe it just shows your previous recordings so I'll click on this record and I have to give it a permission to allow recording. So I'll allow it. Okay. I will allow. And now you can see the audio recorder is on and it is recording my audio. By looking into the waves, I can tell that right now this audio is not recording properly because my audio is cutting. See on top you can see the waves are cutting. Whenever there is a cut in the waves, this means your quality is losing, you are losing some quality. Okay? So it's better to position your mic in a place where you can actually see these mics working properly or try to speak slowly and then 
I believe you will be able to record your audio with better quality. Let's now stop it and listen to the audio. I will just say save it and then I will save it. Let's listen to it now. So as you saw, as soon as I save it, the webs which were previously cutting are now inside that area and this means that my voice is recorded with quality. So let's now play it. I will allow and now you can see the audio recorder is on and it is recording my audio. See, let's now stop it and then use this application to record with my default mic of a smartphone. I will click on this record button and it's now recording a new audio and as you can see there is these waves which shows that my audio is being recorded. I will now stop it, save it with record too, it's okay. I will now play it and it's now recording a new audio and as you can see there is these waves which shows that my audio is now I believe you noticed the difference in sound quality. When I am recording with this, the sound quality is awesome. When I am recording with default mic of my smartphone, the sound quality is not as good as it should be. But let me tell you one more thing. The thing is that right now my environment is not good. AC is on and this is why there is noise in this recording. Let me now record one more audio for you by switching off the AC. This means recording in a silent environment. Now AC is off. Let's record now. I will record with the application. I will open the application. And I will record with this application using Smart Lab Plus. So I will click on this record. As you can see this is recording and now I know this application actually shows waves like this. It's not actually loss in quality. So when I am done I will stop it and I will record it. I will give it a name and I will save it. Then I will remove this and record with default mic. I will press record button again and as you can see it is recording my voice. So after the voice is recorded. I will listen to both of them, stop it, so I am not giving it any name so that I remember that which mic was used. Let's now go to this menu and listen to all the voices that we have recorded. So this one is recorded with the smart lab, I will select record. As you can see this is recording and now I know this application actually shows waves like this, it's not actually loss in quality. So when I am done I will stop. And let's now listen to the default mic button again and as you can see it is recording my voice. So after the voice is recorded I will listen to both of them. Okay. Let's now listen to them again by improving the sound quality. So this is the voice from Smart Lab Plus record. As you can see this is recording and now I know this application actually shows waves. And this is the voice from your mic button again and as you can see it is recording my voice. So after the voice is recorded now you know why I am recommending this Rode Smart Lab Plus and let me tell you that this is not a paid review at all. Okay. Nobody paid me to recommend this mic. I am just recommending because it is really good. Think of a situation when you are outside and you want to shoot your video or right now I am recording my audio with the help of camera. Camera is there. It's around three feet away from me. If I put this three feet away from me, then how will I record my audio? Audio quality will go drastically down. In that case, I have to use one smartphone to shoot my video and another smartphone with a smart lab plus to record my audio and later in the editing I can merge them. This is why I always recommend buying this as soon as you have a budget and as soon as you want to invest in some device. Invest in mic at first and video 
in later stages of your journey in making educational videos. I believe this video will be helpful to you. Please share this video with all the fellow teachers also because I have seen teachers investing money in buying cameras rather than audio devices and there they make the mistake. Audio is the first priority. Improving the video quality is the second priority as we already have a good quality camera in all our smartphones. Now I will see you in my next video. Namaste.